Please do not put all the Christians into one basket. There are many good hearted Christians living in the rest of the world and good hearted even living in Pakistan. So do not be shy by appreciating those people. But my confrontation is with Christian missionaries in Pakistan who are raising dust into the remote places, taking unfair advantage of Muslim lands and converting those people by deceitful manners. Deception pretext, but on the reality, not on the logic, by giving them some kind of greed about, against poverty, about education or showing them American dream on the West side. These pastors who are playing with these poor people, I want these poor people to go to them, these pastors and ask these questions, which I'm going to tell you now, because they are very eager to make conventions, but they do not like to give you answers. They will never give you answers. You watch. Their convention is so concise and compounded. They get money and masalama. What Jesus Christ says. You are not of me who does not take his cross and follow me. Sell everything, every position you have and then follow me. It's difficult for a poor person or rich person, sorry, to enter into paradise or heaven the same as you cross a camel into an eye of a needle. This is the example Jesus Christ is giving you. But anyways, today's pastor, they are taking money whereas Jesus was having no money. <clears throat> he said, even the foxes have holes and the birds have nests to fly. The son of man has no place to put his head upon. But over here, every Tom, Dick and Harry, Nasir, Mansur, Ahmad or any kind of Christian, you name them, they are getting money, these pastors. 10-15 years when I saw pastors today in Pakistan, which when they started their monastery or ministry, and now after 10-15 days, they are rich. They collected more than uh, 1 million rupees. And those poor people who were giving them, their circumstances are same as it is when they were started. So this you can sense. It's all a business, minting money, that's it. And what is he giving you in return? Nothing. Just same quotations about John 3.16, John 3.16 about, but when you start reasoning with them, they will say, no, you can't reason, get out. Now I'm going to give you a few verses. Go ahead. <clears throat> and people even in the West go and ask your pastors, please, sir, explain how these prophecies were fulfilled. Now, 